Hello and welcome, fellow Spartans, to episode number 24 of my Pompey Let's Play for Total War Round 2 on the Imperator Augustus campaign. And of course, there's still a lot to do with this series. We've got Mark Antony still at war with us, and of course, he's got two armies here that look like they are poised to take back or try and take back the city of Apollina for themselves. However, this army here will not hopefully allow that the fourth legion because they have got quite a lot of strength in numbers and as well they've got the experience on their side as well so hopefully those two will combine for a successful defense of that city now the fifth legion we would have used essentially to try and come across to support the defense however i think they've been hindered by this champion here and their movement range has been halved so they can't unfortunately help with the defense of this city um during this end turn phase if they do decide to do that but as I say I think the 4th legion has enough to do it themselves now the 1st legion is over here it's recruiting Pompey's legion himself it's, it's uh, recruiting at the moment once they are ready to go they will push east to try and take the fight to Thrace over there that 4th legion at Apollina will then if they successfully defend the city from Mark Antony will then regroup and push over to Thessalonica whereas the 5th legion here will push down south into uh, southern Greece and train, try and take those regions away from Mark Antony there. So there's three sort of movements that are going to be happening in that area of the map. Now this army here is going to regroup as well, try and get away from this champion which is causing a lot of problems at the moment. Hire some more men, maybe some mercenaries, and then they will take the fight to the Dacians in the north and start to take away their land as we are at war with them. So that's that situation. And then finally, in the north, we've got these two armies here. We'll take them out of force march while we're there. Um, these two armies here, which we're going to use to try and take the fight to the Gauls, as well as this Latin rebel stronghold here at Vesanto. So they've got a lot to do. And even if we take these two regions away from the Gauls, that's not over. They've got regions here and here as well, which is quite far away. So we've got a lot of work to do against them. Of course, as well, we've got the bad guy as well, who are um, allied to the Gauls. So we've got to take them out as well. So a lot to do in the north as well. Um, so yes, we've got to crack on, as always, with the campaign. Now, there's nothing else I can really do, do this turn. So I'm going to hit the end turn phase, uh, or end turn button, I should say to initiate the end turn phase, there we go, and then once that's happened we'll see what the AI do, hopefully they will give us a bit of a reprieve for one turn so we can just regroup a little bit more before we take the fight to them again, but I know there's an unassigned skill here, so I'm going to assign that, give him the infantry command to give him 12% melee attack skill for all infantry units, that will be a big boost, so that will be handy, so let's end the turn now, see what happens and hope to god that the AI just hold back for a second because as I say if you just give us one more turn it will give enough to replenish some more men and then push on again so Mark Antony's not doing anything they should have taken that champion away wonderful that's two good things have already happened so far anything else that's gonna happen probably not probably have some army attackers in a second we'll find out oh looks like Thracia on the attack here What's this? Lands open to the enemy. We've lost 50 senators because of it. Over here, what land? The enemy roam freely around this region. The legions have failed to halt them thus far, but something must be done. What enemy are you talking about? Public order is fantastic. There's no enemy here. And I just lost 50 senators because of it. What the hell? What a load of cards wallop. There's nothing nothing wrong with this region. It's completely peaceful and happy. There's no enemies around here, guys. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Weird. Motivated populace at Hispania. Troubled populace over here. Ah, but it's going up. It's plus 11 per, per turn, so that's fine. I'm not concerned about that. Okay, so that's all fine there. And as I say, the AI did give us a bit of a reprieve here. However, this army that... The Thracians to bring it across need to be dealt with, and I think they're just out of range. Just look at that little tiny bit out of range, but not to worry. We'll bring this army north to Nerona again to defend the settlement if required. Um, so if you do attack, we should be able to defend it now. We've got uh, the first legion over there to defend it with, and as I say, look at this. 
Mark Antony has left himself completely open with these guys in a force march stance. So what we'll do, I don't think the champion did attack me that turn. So we'll bring them... I'm trying to put him into range there. I think they're in range then. And bring this army out of Apollina. But before we do that, we'll just try and sabotage him with our spy. Successful as well. Wonderful. So we'll bring this army out of the city now. Hit these guys who are in forced march still. Unbelievably. Oh, look at this. This is complete and utter whitewash. We didn't even have to fight this one. So we'll order resolve this one. 97% remaining forces. Wonderful. That goes that army down. That's the last we'll see of them. Wonderful. Decisive victory. We only lost 96 men. So kill the captives. Increasing rank for our general. He's in range to attack this army now, and these won't be supported, obviously, now that that army's gone. They can't retreat because we're at the coastline there, so they're going to have to fight to the death. And it's another convincing victory here. This has been performed nicely by myself, if I do say so myself, because obviously we took them out one stage at a time. We didn't fight them together, as we could have done. We've taken them out bit by bit, so they've both been completely destroyed in two movements there which is really good so I'm happy with that so that's completely got rid of that threat that those two poised so they'll replenish a little bit more now and then we'll move them across to Pharsalus and Thessalonica to start dealing with them that legion's over there ready to defend if needs be this legion needs to recruit because we're gonna have to fight the Dacians soon Um, what's your influence in public order, this army? Just two. So what we'll do is we'll bring these three units across. Don't know why I just did that, because we're not playing Medieval 2 or earlier games. We have to take the general with us, so... There we go. They go in there. General, go back. Spy, let's go north here. Start to increase your skill if we can. Um, this veteran can actually go into their army, actually, to increase their training. And looks like Nori is completely undefended as well, which is pretty uh, pleasing to see. Spy, try and whittle down the garrison. It's failed. Never mind. Hopefully you can increase in rank soon. So that's all fine over there. These guys, the Marco Mani, what's their situation with me? They're, yeah, they're very happy with me. Very friendly, trading with me. So that's good. We don't have to worry about them for a while. They've got quite a lot of land control as well, so it's good to have them on our side, actually, because they're the only faction, look at this, they're the only faction on the game they're actually friendly towards us. Everyone else bloody hates us. So, God, right, okay, it's quite pleasing to see the market money on our side. You wouldn't thought that, would you, with them being a barbarian tribe, but they are pretty happy to see us. So, right, we'll bring the army north now to move forward a little bit. Right, they'll stay there. We'll stay there. If we have to retreat, so be it. But they should be fine there. Oh, Bibberact has got some unopened built, so unbuilt slots here. So um, it's a good job I clicked on this settlement house. I would have left them and I could have had some slums. So we should go for an aqueduct. And, well, we're going to have to go for a practice field, aren't we, I think? Or well, maybe we'll go for something else. Um, Consecrated ground here. Get rid of that one there. And we'll have, yeah, we'll have to go for a practice field then. Fine. And that's all, we, that's all we can do this turn. We haven't got as much income per turn at the moment because of our armies are increasing. So we potentially need to start looking at upgrading some of these buildings to higher value, higher wealth buildings soon. And of course, I forgot this army in the south as well. This army, the... the the 6th Legion, I have to think about that one, I couldn't get my Roman numerals right then. This army, this is going to have to start moving across now to take the fight to the Antony in North Africa as well. So, let's bring him out here, put him there so he's, he's not hopefully in range of the enemy, but we'll put him to a forced stance march, or forced fortified stance there we go god I can't get my words out then a fortified stance for a little bit just in case and then moving bit by bit closer to Kyrene 
and that's again all we can do. So another end turn here, guys. Oh, an unassigned skill as well. For the old fifth legion here. I think it's about time, actually, when I'm thinking about it, to get rid of these mercenaries. They are holding my income per turn back a little bit. They've done their job. They defended the uh, city of Apollina. They've got rid of that army. As I say, they've done the job. Let's disband them now. Look at that. 4,500 gold per turn now. It's going to help us a little bit. So we'll end it now. See if Anthony does anything else now. Or he sits back even further. Because he's committed a lot of men to my armies recently. Oh, he's bringing a champion around now. This could then lead on to an army attacking me. No. Okay, fine. And um, while I'm thinking about it, there will be a video out on my channel already. Check it out. Discussing and announcing some of the things I'll be doing over the next few days. Or just weekend, basically. I've got two events I'm attending. One, a live stream at GameSpot, where I'll be playing Attila with, with uh, James or CA Dogbert and uh, one of the developers of Attila. So I'll be playing as a Hun for a couple of hours on that live stream over at GameSpot. So go and check out the video. Links are in the description of where you can go and watch the stream. And also on Saturday, I will be attending the Meltdown event in London where I'll be playing Attila, meeting hopefully some of you guys attending from the community. And as well, at the same time, I shall be streaming again. So yeah, if you can, do come along to Meltdown if you can. But as I say, check out the videos. The event will be streamed on Total War's official stream as well. So yeah, check it out if you can't attend directly. So what the hell is this? The home settlement of this previously destroyed faction has been liberated. They re-emerge as a faction. What? Uh, uh, right, okay. What? Octavian's back? But how he's dead? I got rid of him. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. The enemy of Rome rises again. Jesus Christ, we're going to have to take the fight to them pretty quickly. Uh, because we don't want these guys to rise up again and start to have a lot of power once more. They probably won't, but it's not even Anthony anymore. It's one, some of his, maybe one of his loyal subjects or something. I don't know. It's not Anthony himself. In the name of the state and so no. Not, I didn't want to have non-aggression with them. I just wanted to see what they'd do, but fine, okay. Let's bring this spy over here. That's another full 20 stack army here then. Right. We are in range to attack Vasanto. We need to take the settlement down pretty quickly because then we'll have a direct access to uh, Javorium and take that city away from and say from Octavian and then that should be them gone again. So we need to take the city first and then move very quickly to Javorium. We can't rest on our levels over here. No, definitely we can't. Oh, damn. Right, let's... Let's attack. Continue siege. Let's build some siege equipment there. These guys move in. Iliuban is going to be easy to take, probably. Oh, we're going to have to fight this one, guys. So let's do it. Let's fight this one on the battlefield. But yes, I can't believe Octavian's rose again. Well, not technically Octavian. He's gone. He's dead. But the uh, the legacy of them has risen again. So, yes, we're going to get rid of them very quickly. Can't believe the Gauls have done that. The Fools. So, they, they love Octavian. They, they, I remember a few episodes ago when we had Octavian on the run. And I offered Gaul a way out of their alliance with Octavian. They declined it in favour of sticking with them. They have got some affection towards Octavian for some reason. So, uh, yes, it's a love affair that I don't want to be involved with. No, definitely do not want to be involved with. So we'll have to take them down pretty quickly. So, Elite is there. Legionaries and First Cohort can go in and a direct attack straight on. Whereas the Cavalry can go on the left flank over here. This shouldn't be too hard to, to, to win. Obviously, we've got to be careful. Can't underestimate the enemy. You never know what they've got up their sleeve. OK, 
Okay, legionaries, move in. Cavalry, go down this way. Okie dokie. Let's just get them at walking pace. We don't, we don't want to tire them out. So what have they got here? It's just a garrison army, but... They'll put up a bit of a fight. Chosen Swordsman. Not too bad. Sardic Tribesman. Mechanic Tribesman. Heavy Horse. Oh, is it... Vercingetorix? Is that the man himself? Oh, right. Oh, no, that's not the man himself, is it? No, it's not him. Is it? No, it can't be him. This is the Garrison Army. Is it? I, oh, no, I'm getting confused now. No, it's not. The, this is just the Garrison Army. What am I talking about? Bloody hell. This is not versing Gedderix, I don't think. You guys will know what, what happened What happened to him after the Battle of uh, Alicia. Was he killed or what? I can't, you guys will probably know. Tell me in the comments below. But that can't be him, surely. Right, we'll move in. Cavalry sweep across. Cleverly, the AI put spear units there to try and protect that left flank nicely. But if we push on this way, cause too much of a problem here, they'll have to commit those forces down, and then that will open up the. Uh, well, that will allow us to then move our cavalry into the rear of them. So let's engage straight away. Let's go for a charge with all the legionaries as well. Deadly throw of Pila will rip through the centre of this this chosen swordsman unit in a second. Look at this. This, this Pila is going to be devastating. Watch this now. Come on. One goes across. Another one goes across. This is fantastic. Look at that. Dropping pretty quickly. Elites go for these guys. Okay, these guys are still holding there, the tribesmen, they're not going to commit yet, they'll have to commit soon, they can't let their comrades do the fight without them in a minute because we are taking the fight to them pretty quickly, they're wavering already here, as I say they can't let their comrades do all the work because we're pretty much pouring through the gates, sorry the city here, not the gates, but we're flowing into the city now pretty quickly. Keep holding there, Cav. Wait. Your time will come in a second. These are going down pretty quickly, to be honest with you. Another unit's wavering. But yet, still the tribesmen hold there. I mean, it's fine. If they don't attack over here, we'll get the legionaries to flank them from behind over there anyway, so it's not going to be a problem. Now they've committed, they've committed, they've had to commit and they've done so. Now they've done that, done what I thought they were going to do. They've committed themselves across to support the uh, units over here. They couldn't sit back for much longer to be honest with you. So this has now opened the opportunity for us to attack from the rear. Cavalry going to hit the skirmishers while the unit of legionary cavalry hit those tribesmen. Oh no, they've turned around, move back, move back, move back. They've turned around to face me. I can't allow them to hit me straight on. They will do a lot of damage if they did. So pull back a second. However, these guys are starting to drop. Come on, break, 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 break. Broken. Go, 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 go. Oh, balls. Okay, in fact, we'll attack with all these legionaries because our flank over here is protected because if the tribesmen move back again, which it looks like they're going to do. Oh, no, they're not. Bloody hell, they're throwing some javelins at us. Move back a second. We'll play cat and mouse with this unit if we have to. We've committed a general now. The heavy horse have moved in. Okay, come on, that's it. Blites hit these cavalry units down. Hit this cavalry unit down, I should say. It's 
starting to drop a little bit, so we're going to get there in a second. We'll probably be able to, uh, once we're taking the general down, that should mm, cause these guys to pretty much break quickly. In fact, we'll bring this cavalry unit around here. That's what we'll do. Get him to hit these guys from the rear. They've left themselves completely unopened up there, sorry. Ooh, that's a deadly throw jumping from the enemy there. Okay, pull him back, pull the Vlites back. Come on, Cav, come on, Cav. No, Cav, don't go that way. Go this way. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. That's it, Vlites. Tempt these tribesmen to move out of the city. Just keep playing with them. We've broken all these units here anyway now, so it's fine. So the tribesmen should fall in a second anyway, so that's not going to be a problem. The cavalry will mop up the rest of these skirmishers pretty easily drive through those forces without any issues at all, I don't think. Yeah, they're going down pretty well, pretty easily, pretty well. So once the skirmishers go, that is this battle won and over. And in fact, we'll play into a fast forward because there's no way they're going to win this one. Well, there's no way, yeah, the enemy can turn this around. We may as well just fast forward it. In fact, we'll bring these units of legionaries across because they're not going down without a fight, actually. I'm surprised. They're holding on for quite a long time. You're joking me! You're seriously joking me! Against skirmishers! Oh my god! That was bad. Never mind, we won the battle. But lost our general. Oh my god, I can't believe those skirmishers held up for so long then. Right, okay, anyway. We've won the battle. We've won the battle. We've taken the city, we'll just obviously replace that general with a new general in a second, so not too bad. I don't think he's one of our most successful generals anyway, so it's like a massive loss to us. We've got Ilio Banner under our our banner now, basically. <laughs> so let's occupy the land. And let's have a look at the generals we've got to choose from. Da, 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 da. Attach rate, yeah, that'll come in handy. I keep it as a legatus unit for our general. Okie dokie, that's fine. So we've moved north. We're now on the coastline of northern France. Now we can see southern coastline of Britannia here. It's in our grasp. Maybe we'll move on to uh, Britannia at some point in the next few episodes. That'd be quite interesting to see if we can take the British Isles for our own. Um, so there we go. And... Uh, Yes, where are the Thracians gone? They've moved away, have they? Obviously seen that threat that we now pose. Ah, oh, they've moved around here. So they keep playing with us. They're either going this way or that way. So I'll come around here. Ready for orders. Ready for further orders. Just out of range to attack again, but I think they saw the, the fact we brought that army across to defend the city, so they pulled back. But they're now attacking with that force, maybe, the pillagers. Right, these are guys replenishing, so we'll put them onto the border. So they can still replenish quite quickly. Most units are now back to full health, they should, they should be fine. Put these guys to the border here, so they, again they can replenish, but we want to recruit some men. Oh, we can't recruit really anyone, so... Ooh, we need to take more regions before we can start to recruit some decent units, so we may have to hire some mercenaries back. Depends what the situation is at Farsalus. Okay, let's go for that one. It has a chance of stopping the enemy agent, so we may as well go for it. Enemy agent hindered. Wonderful. So that's slowed him down. Great stuff. Well done, Miss, Mrs. Spy. Okay, so we've got a little bit more income here. Now, one of them is going to be... Oh, we've got two units we can go for here, so we may as well go for another... Well... Another unit. Two units of legionaries, really. There's nothing else we can go for, is there really? So... 
So let's have a look and see what we can do in terms of monetary situation here. We don't need this at Ascalon because we've got one at Roma, so that's fine. We could go for a harbour here to increase wealth there. And that's about it. That's the only thing we can do. However, down in the south, we've got the 6th Legion here, so we may as well recruit another unit of legionary cav. Well, we're still in 45 stance, we're not in 45 stance now, we're in mustering stance, but we'll get a few more units there and then we'll move that across to Kyrie and then. So let's end the turn once more. Can't believe Octavian's banner is back on the map, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Looks like Anthony's having a little think again. I don't know what dates you're going to be up to now. Oh, they're bringing that agent back across. Okay, right, veteran increased in rank. Good, good. A rebellion imminent at Gallia. Oh, right. Oh, God. Right, okie dokie. That's not good, is it? Um, right, Shrine of Jupiter. Yeah. That. Oh no, Don't, that's not converting now, god. Let's go for a meeting place there. To avoid some slums. And we'll have to wait until we can really convert those settlements over. Or those buildings over. Oh, some attrition at that siege. These guys are now motivated. Or surplus, surplus of population, I should say. Outrage at Gallia, inspired at Hispania. Yeah, money's not doing great here, actually. We need to start boosting this up a little bit, actually. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything we can really want, that we want to build, or oh, we're going to have to go so let's build something to ask them. That's the only thing we, we, we can do. We've got to build on that construction site. We can't leave that unattended. So we may as well go for a... Um, go for some agriculture there, I think. Yeah, go for some agriculture. May as well. Move the city away from that enemy. In fact, we may as well risk it now. We've got the 20-stack army, which we need. We may as well take the city of Noria. It's completely undefended by the garrison. So this is going to be pretty easy. 94% remaining forces there. Wonderful. So we've got a foothold in their lands now. Wonderful. We've got a walled city under our control. Of course, we need to, we need to convert it. But uh, we may as well raise this settlement, actually. Give us a bit of money. And then we can build upon it as well. So we'll go for an aqueduct. Consecrated ground, and then obviously hope to build on something on there, but hope in the meantime that the slums do not appear there. So, who are these guys? The Ari. Neutral. Non aggression is high. Wish, Let's demand some money for that. No, not maybe 500 sure, then. But our hearts are full of courage, not lust for gold. Yes, it accepted 500. Agreement and put it before my people. Major access. They have led us to Great. Good, good, good. Another tribe that's on our side now. Ah, oh, that's good. That's very good. And the Quadi over here. These are happy with us already. There is food enough for two armies awaiting us when we have talked. Mm, no, I'll give you 500 then. Thank you. Long, Trade. Oh, even better. I am content with it. Oh, yes. I could have gone for more than 500 then. Damn it. Your years. I knew your people to be honorable. 
Okay, 500 then. I need that military access. Wonderful. Great, so that's giving us a bit of a boost to our treasury, so we can now build on that land again. Which is rather handy to have, so we'll go for a field of Mars here. I can't convert that, but I'm going to have money to do so there. These guys will replenish now. They haven't got much replenishing to do. Uh, go for that one. Okay, so that's good. That's good, that's very good. So, the 4th Legion can start to look at moving into Thessalonica. It, yeah, she was successful against him last turn, so we can hopefully give us a chance to now move this spy across, have a look at Thessalonica. Oh, there's quite a force there. A 17 stacker army. And we haven't got any siege equipment, so we're going to have to siege it possibly. So we'll bring the army ready to CJ. In fact, we'll do that right now. And we'll build some tortoise for next turn. These guys can go across here. In fact, move in. Oh, quite an army there as well. So they go attack next episode with those guys. Those at Thessalonica. That Farcelus. Oh, we can take that settlement straight away. Easy. In fact, we'll just fight this one. We'll fight this one very quickly. Because it's just on the cusp of 80% on the other results. So we'll see this battle through ourselves. Then we'll wrap up the part here. And again, leave it with still much to do. Octavian in the north. The rebels in the north. Gaul in the north, Dacia, Mark Antony, Thrace, loads of people to deal with, wonderful stuff, lots to be doing on this campaign, it's very entertaining stuff, and a lot of variation for you guys to enjoy, because obviously you're not, we're not just fighting one enemy, we're fighting multiple enemies at one in one go, so those guys go over there, very similar army build to what we had before when we were taking that Gaulish town, So, we should be able to effectively win this battle quite easily again, hopefully. Okay, bring those guys forward there. Okay, Cav, go around that way, please. They'll probably sit tight here. So, what we'll do is we'll take four units that way then four units this way and the cavalry will go around here and then sweep around the back if needs be so let's fast forward on a little bit oh hang on hang on I can see an enemy unit here where are they Right, they're all they're moving out, they're moving out, they're moving out. Right, cavalry, come round back over here. Form up in a nice line there to hold the forces going that way, and then we'll come around the back with these guys and the cavalry this way as well. Hang on, they're moving back again. I think they noticed the other armies coming around the side here. So reacting to that. Main force is coming this way then. Right, okay, form up a line here. I thought they'd have tried and sat tight here, but they're not. They're sallying out in a way to us. So we're gonna try and react to that pretty quickly. Come on, get into position guys, get into formation. Right, they committed all their main melee forces to the front line, so this is exposed their skirmishers for a direct charge with our cav now, which is good. We're going to surround him in a second, this is going to be pretty bad for the enemy in a minute. It's okay, it's okay. We won't lose this general, I promise I won't lose this one today. Make up for the loss of that first one. Okay, move in guys, move in. 
A bit of a rash move from the AI here because they've committed and pushed out quite aggressively. Try to rush us as an army here. They try to rush the army we've got. But it's not really paid off for them because we've now got into the mix with them quite easily. And they've exposed many flanks to our forces. So we've been able to maneuver around them quite convincingly. And it's made it that we've sandwiched them in now. And it's only a matter of time before they fall, really. Their rush tactic, so that yeah, their rush tactic didn't really work, unfortunately. Well, no, it's not unfortunate, is it? It's wonderful. It's good for us, but bad for them. Go, go, go! Get those levies down. Go, 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 Cav! Come on, what are you doing over here? Don't have a party over here. Take them out. Into a bit of cinematic mode here to have a look at this. This guy's still had enough, they're just lagging for it. Hang on, who's fighting? Is the blister fighting it firing here, sorry. The bloody are you know. Cease fire men. Right yeah, they've had enough, they're lagging they're lagging it. So Go for a charge of this exposed flank here. This will surely finish him off now. It's a nice charge, got into the mix quite easily there. So look at this, we've completely enveloped them now. Every single side has gone down. They must be really panicking now. It's all gone, it's all over. Come on. Farcelus will be ours in a second. God, they are fighting to the death, though. Give them credit for that. These veteran legionaries are holding their... Holding their own. They are... Fighting to the death. Living up to their name. As veterans of the army. Right, pull the cav out, pull the cav out, and we'll just leave the general aside now. We'll go for another charge again with our legionary cavalry. Go, 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 go. It. Push, 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 push. Pull back out again, Cav. Regroup, and then we'll go for the charge in a second again. Go, go, go. God, these guys have really held out today. These have. Considering we've completely got him on every corner here. At every angle, they are not going down here. 86, 88, ah, 50, 48. Now the general is starting to waver. He goes, the whole army goes, surely. Yeah, the panic's going now, it's setting in. Spider Man. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, let's put it into fast forward now, so we'll be here all day. There we go. Victory is ours. Decisive victory indeed. And we lost 255 men, so not too bad. But the main thing is that we've now taken the fight to Mark, uh, to Mark Antony. And Pharsalus is now under Pompey's control. So we are making expansions and pushes, pushes, I should say, on every flank, every frontier now. Occupy the land, of course peacefully increasing rank for the general and the army so that was nicely done we're sieging Thessalonica so we'll take that fight to them next turn or next episode this army Pompey's first legion will move in to the Thracian sediment over there 
these guys will just regroup a little bit and then move on again to Dacian lands in the east over there and then this army will hopefully take down the rebels at Vasanto next episode and then straight away move on to Trevorium and rid ourselves of the uprising of Octavian's army once again or Octavian's legacy once again so there you go ladies and gentlemen we have finished part 24 here the Quadi of course we just we know that because we've got some we've got some um, trade agreements with them and things haven't we so we know we're about them World of Wonder, what have we got here? Mount Olympus is now under our control. Wonderful, because we took far slices. Is that? Is that the reason why? It is. Great stuff. Mount Olympus, what will it do for us? Public order, penalties due to local presence of foreign cultures. Well, we haven't got that technically. And bread and games edict. 20% wealth generated from cultural buildings. Right, we may have to get that edict there then, if that's the case. Quite decent buildings here as well. Auxiliary barracks and... Uh, Horse breeders, that's good. Upgrade those guys straight away. We've got some decent news we can recruit from there as well. So yes, looking good, ladies and gentlemen. So if you've enjoyed part 24, please do drop your like. Be sure to comment and subscribe. Check me up on Facebook, Twitter, and my Steam group, The Heroes of Sparta. But until next time, this is Warrior Sparta for now, saying farewell. <laughs>